The European round of the IGP Manager AOR League was the 11th race of the season, and the forecast was for clear skies and high temperatures. And while championship contender Cesar Navarro started on pole position, the leading soft runner was championship leader Peter Mann. At the start, though, it was Felix Cabanes who took the lead of the race. With DRS activated on lap 3, there were a few moves in the making, and while the DRS wasn't quite powerful enough to get Cesar past Cabanes, he deployed some boost in the chicane and made the overtake before the next straight. Morales was the first to pit in the race, coming in for a set of softs at the end of lap 4, and one lap later there were some more cars into the pits to get rid of their super softs, including the race leaders Cesar Navarro and Felix Cabanes. Cesar exited the pits just ahead of his older brother, but Jose deployed some boost, having started on the softs and with lighter fuel at this stage. Lap 10 and Jose Navarro's soft tires were now looking a bit worse for wear, which allowed Cesar to make the overtake with the help of some DRS. And while that was going on, Valentin Cordier was making the overtake on Felix Cabanes for what was the net P2 in the race at this stage. End of lap 11 and the championship leader Peter Mann was into the pits, having run longer than every other soft runner so far. After his incredible first stint, he came out of the pits in third position, just between Cordier and Cabanes. Valentin Cordier was next of the front runners to pit at the end of lap 18, fitting a set of softs that would take him on a 10 lap stint to the end of the race. Lap 20 and Peter Mann was the next to pit from the lead after extending an over 9 second gap to Cesar Navarro who was still yet to pit for his final set of tires. One lap later and Cesar was into the pits for his final set of soft tires, he dropped to third position behind Mann and Cordier, but with the freshest tires and similar fuel levels, he should be the quickest car. However, by the time the final lap came around, the order had not changed, and Cesar Navarro hadn't even managed to catch Valentin Cordier, never mind Peter Mann. In fact, the Argentinian now had the Swiss manager, Daniel Thomas, breathing down his neck. Navarro deployed the rest of his boost to defend in Sector 1, but Thomas had more boost to play with. He used everything he had, but in the end, fell just short of making the overtake, and while Cordier did come under a bit of pressure towards the end, he grabbed his maiden podium with a second-place finish behind Peter Mann over 10 seconds up the road, while Cesar clung on to the final podium position in third. In the championship standings, the big movement comes from Cordier, of course. His latest result moves him from 12th in the standings all the way up to the top half of the field in 8th position now, but with Nicholas Pressey and Jose Luis Navarro not far behind. Cesar Navarro also jumps up to 2nd position from 3rd after a difficult race for Morales. They are now 38 and 45 points behind Peter Mann respectively, but with 6 races to go, there's still 150 championship points on offer.